Hi, I'm Laura Brady Sade of GiveMe10.info. GiveMe10 is all about making the most of those rare unscheduled minutes throughout the day. I had a chance to talk to Laura Vanderkam, author of 168 Hours, You Have More Time Than You Think, and What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast. Here are Laura's tips on how we can make the most of 10 minutes before breakfast. Before breakfast, uh, one thing you could do is sit and think through your day. Think about your strategy for your day. What are you hoping to accomplish over the course of the day? What will make this a great day um, if you're looking back on it at the end of the day? So I would recommend taking a few minutes to do that in the morning, and that will make your whole day go much better. Kind of be able to visualize it, and the more you can picture it, maybe you can make it happen. Exactly. That's how it comes true. I love that. Do you have another for before breakfast? Well, I did a few uh, that I've thought through for you. Um, so one thing uh, that you can do before breakfast um, to make your life better is to really connect with those people who are probably around your house before breakfast, meaning your family members. So certainly uh, two career couples, lots of kids, things can just not, trans, trans, you know, things in the evening may not happen the way we sort of picture family life happening. One or most, both parties may need to work late, kids have activities, family dinners sometimes just do not happen. But you can take a few minutes in the morning to focus on connecting with each other instead of just trying to get out the door. So taking a few minutes for silliness with little kids, taking a few minutes to chat with your teenagers, taking a few minutes to talk with your partner, uh, not just about the details of running a household, but connecting as people would be a great way to spend those minutes before breakfast. I, I love those ideas because sometimes you're in such a rush that it's all about making it to school and not getting detention. And I know personally morning is my favorite time of the day because I feel like if it goes well, no matter what else happens during the day, I feel like the day was a success already. Uh, so I love those. Yes. Uh, first success in the morning, a victory lays the groundwork for other victories later on. And I think with kids, as you were saying, connecting with kids, I think sometimes we forget that they might carry that stressful morning to school with them, with them and through the day. And what we can do is help, help make everybody's day a little bit better and more fulfilling. We're always so fixated on getting everyone out the door that we don't realize that time is passing beyond what is necessary, necessarily, to get out the door. So there are minutes in there that can be used, that can be seized for better interaction. And so people who make the most of their mornings tend to do that. Mm -hmm.